Okay. Minami-san suddenly showed up at my house, and then brought over Miura-kun out of nowhere. As if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushiji around. I always dreamed of living on my own. So much for that. Bad news, Juro. Let me guess. Amiguchi-kun's not there. I think he's at the break area. Thanks for making my life easier, man. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head over. Yusaka-san, and Yakushiji. A sci-fi movie from 1954. The f a sci-fi movie from 1954, the first in what would become a long-running series. Yui-chan! Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Miguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Later. Bye. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Something up? You're staring. Well, maybe not here. Let's go out to the hall. Fuyusaka's avoiding you. Did you look up her skirt or something? No. What kind of guy do you think I am? I'm just saying. It is weird, though. I wonder why she's acting that way. She always seems to be sleeping, and I... Come to think of it, I saw Shibakun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. hear the end of it. We've got to get to the break area. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. It's too hard to talk to her with Shib... Shibakun's really getting in the way here. I should make him check the classroom for Amiguchi-kun again. That'll get him off my back. Hey, Shibakun. I know we couldn't find Amiguchi-kun earlier, but what if he went back to his classroom? Maybe you should go check one more time. Hmm, good point. You never know what that guy's up to. I'll take a look. What's going on, Fuyusaka-san? Well, um... You know that dream you were telling me about? The truth is... It's... Real. It actually happened. What do you mean? What was that dream about again? Uh, you don't remember? You just mentioned it again last week. You know, the one about the shootout? Shootout? Something about taking refuge in a harbor. But you ended up getting shot and captured. 
I was the only one who managed to escape. Oh, yeah. In order to prevent killer robots from being invented, a factory got blown up, right? You remember now? I didn't know you were into action movies. That's the plot of Exterminator 2, right? <laughs> I almost forgot. <sighs> so you don't remember after all? Of course I do. That movie is a masterpiece. I'm not talking about a movie. This is something that actually happened. And it wasn't just a dream, either. <sighs> What about this one? Is it real too? If the Daimo showed up in real life? I don't know. I think it'd be pretty awesome. Well, lucky you. You'll be seeing plenty of them soon. Huh? Daimos is the general name for them. But there are many different types. Some as big as a truck. Some bigger than a whole building. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. Kurabi-kun... That wasn't a movie. It wasn't. Kurabi-kun... It wasn't. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Yakisoba pond lately. They're always sold out. I heard there's a guy who buys shitloads of them. Never mind. Well, that changed nothing. I still wasn't there. You'll be home for dinner, right? I'll cook something for you. Hey, watch what you're saying. And Shiba-kun's here. It's too hard to talk to her with Shiba-kun around. We've got to get to the... If we're too slow... Amiguchi-kun's not... He's on top of that. He's got all... Karabekun. Are we on for today? Uh, I got somewhere to be. Uh, well, all right. Sorry, man. No, I'm sorry for asking all the time. What a bummer. After all that, I think I'm gonna cry. What a bummer. After all...
Platinum. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. She's from 1985. She seems to know about the existence of other Sentinels. Is that how she's able to travel through time? Maybe there's another way. In any case, she appears to be a central figure in all this. Could she still be at school? She's from his man could Oh, Miracon. Megumi-san. You know where the track room is? Yes. Oh, right. Have you seen Juro around anywhere? No. I see. Maybe he went home already. For dinner tonight, what should I make? We could have Hamburger. Again? No, no, that's all right. I'm fine with anything. Well, let's see. We've had nothing but meat these last few days. I think I want to make some fish for Juro. Okay, I better run to the store. I'll see you later. Natsuno-san's over... Th You again. Minami isn't here today. Must have been really important. She even ditched practice. Is that so? Hey, are you Minami-san's boyfriend? How far have you two gone? What? No, you've got it all wrong. Do you happen to know where she went? All she said was that she was in a hurry. But I don't know where she went. I know where. She went over to Tokisaka Shrine. What's she doing there? Not sure. I didn't ask. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? That's where I first met her. But it was back in my own era. Amazing. The shrine's hardly changed at all. The surrounding thicket, on the other hand, that has changed considerably. I don't see Natsuno-san anywhere. I wonder if she's hiding behind the trees again. What I'd give to see that. couldn't find it. I wonder where it could be. Natsuno-san. Whoa! 
Whoa, hey, uh, what are you doing out so late? And why are you here, of all places? Natsuno-san, what was that just now? There was a big flash of light and you just... appeared. Just like when I came to this era in my Sentinel. Same flash of light and everything. I, uh... Come to think of it, this happened at the shrine back when we first met, too. There was a similar flash, almost like lightning. I get it now. You have to come here to travel through time. What do we do, BJ? Please, tell me what's going on. I just want to go home. Are you just going to leave your sentinel behind? Oh yeah, that's how you got here. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> I'll figure out how to deal with the Sentinel later. It's Shihiro, my little sister. If there's any chance she made it out of that hell alive, then I have to find out. Hmm... Okay, that makes sense. BJ, think you can make it happen? Before the war, my uncle gave us it. If she's... I don't care who's responsible for creating the Sentinel. I... But what do I do? The circuit should have repaired itself by now. But I can't seem to reactivate it. Despite a catastrophic loss, Japan seems to have entered a prosperous new era. Almost too prosperous. That scout unit is an alien from the future. At least that's what Natsuno-san says. The footage he showed us is allegedly from the future. If it's real, then how am I still alive 200 years from now? <sighs> All I know for certain is that it's no ordinary scout unit. Data unit. 
So it was with Natsuno Minami all this time. Are we back? Is it really that easy to travel through time? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? If we have the power to travel freely through time, can I just send the Sentinel back to before the war starts? Nope, that's impossible. We can't just jump around as far as we want. We can only travel 40 years at a time. Besides, this is as far back in the past as we can go. I see. That's unfortunate. For now, let's find Shihiro. All right, let's go. She's most likely at an evacuation shelter. If not, then I might find her at the Karabe's house. and station are both empty. Radios are down. No one's answering. Where is everyone? You see that? It's that creature. Okay, so... That thing is an alien weapon, and it's here to invade Earth. The Sentinels were created to fight them off. This is just like what happened in the city from the future. After the aliens invaded, everyone was gone. Wait, if people are disappearing in the past, what's happening to everyone in my era? Natsuno san. Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite. Yes. I admit, she's bright, cheerful, attractive, but right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. The Kaiju aren't secret U.S. military weapons. They're alien invaders from the future, and the Sentinels are the tools we need to defeat them. Tamao-san! What happened? Title signs are failing. Condition is too critical for life support. Tamao-san, where's Chihiro? Chihiro, John, is... Please calm down, Miss Morimura. Uh, Chihiro-chan! Where do you plan on taking her? Uh, I apologize for what I've done to you. But you have no reason to worry. Uh, Wait! Goto. The one who was giving you medicine. Uh, Tamaho-san! Disappeared. Universal control has shifted her. Does that mean the aliens got her? Probably. It's likely that everyone is being held there until this world. 
comes to an end. What do you think you're doing, Gotokun? I believe I told you using the gate is prohibited. Tell me, Miss Morimura, is history one of your better subjects? I have some theories myself. I'd like to know if they're accurate. For example, the true location of the lost nation of Yamataikoku. And the truth behind the Hanoji incident, how Oda Nobunaga really died. Unfortunately, my paper in middle school was bound to the failures of our historians. In theory, I could update it into a full report. In theory, at least. A shame that the gates are locked to specific points in time. What are you really working towards? It's simple. I want to know the truth. Are you all right? This isn't like you. That implies an understanding of what is like me. Or at least, that you believe you understand me. That's not the point. You need to stop using the gate. I'm going to seal this place off. <laughs> Sounds like you've got something to hide. I don't know what you're... Wait. Perhaps a personal notebook seems a bit archaic, but it does present certain advantages. Digitized data can be altered, fabricated, falsified. No intelligent person should trust it. But you already know that, don't you? <sighs> you are acting strange, after all. I hardly think you're in a position to talk. If anyone's changed, it's you. I can only wonder why. What are you? Miss Morimura, my question is, who exactly are you? So, did the scout unit have anything for us? Well, the surface is a total loss. The automated factories are all running at full capacity. They're mass-producing kaiju. Hey, getting used to everything? The technology itself isn't so different from 40 years ago. The real surprise was finding that it's all been integrated into one unified system. You sure don't seem like someone from your time. How are things looking? About like we expected. Naturally. All the nuclear plants are stable. Seems like it's the same for other countries, too. Defensive measures. They want to ensure nothing interrupts production. So, these factories, are they particularly large? It's more about how they got totally automated. That was back in 2080. They started functioning as part of a network, instead of individual units. A worldwide network comprising 1.2 billion factories. All fully integrated and synchronized. Based on a client's request, the computer designs a blueprint. From there on, everything is fully automated. Assembly, production, even cost-effective ordering of parts. The human element was no longer necessary for those processes. 
So it's a manufactory that can mass produce anything on a global scale. We checked on the plants in Kolkata and Chennai. Since they're the largest plants of this era and all, their production rate has doubled over the last three days. Just like last time. The timing matches up, too. Not long now. They'll make their move soon. Morimura-san. Regarding my home time, that is, the year 2064, you're certain we'll face a similar attack? We don't have long until they appear in 2064. That much we know. It'll be just like last time. No, not quite. This time, we have the Sentinels. True. Anything on your end? Loosely speaking. We managed a partial data dump from the underground mainframe. Gotokun? It's an archived news report concerning a certain scandal. More important, though, is its date of recording. When's the data from? The year 2188. In other words, far in the future. Even more so than our current temporal position, 2104. Let's see it. Before dawn on the 20th, eight Newman Inc. executives were taken into police custody. Charged with human trafficking and illegal cloning, their established motive was to tamper with human memories. Authorities consider this an organized effort and are pursuing further charges. Mind hacking crimes have been on the rise in recent years. By exploiting nanomachines such as interlocitors, malefactors can overwrite stored memory information in cerebral synapses. This technique has recently been used to enable other associated offenses. These arrests come after a string of similar cases, including culprits criminally downloading memories onto another body. Evidence suggests these are attempts at a kind of technological reincarnation. And we've already seen more than 460 arrests connected to this practice. I didn't know it was even possible to download memories. The crime apparently occurred in June of 2188. Itakuna. That's not all. Let him finish. Regarding this Newman, I found one more log that could be relevant. This report is from March, about three months prior to the other log. known for interlocitors, has been acquired by Shikishima through a takeover bid. Shikishima's CEO had this to say. Nanotechnology has made leaps and bounds over the 22nd century. Now, even the human body can operate with all the power of a supercomputer. Interlocitors have paved the way for humanity's next step in evolution. For any one of us, all it takes is a thought. And we can have the world itself at our fingertips. With the brilliant minds at Newman driving our nanotech business, we look forward to a brighter future for Shikishima and all our affiliates. With this acquisition, Shikishima now sits among the top three in global market share of interlocitors. They kept talking about those inner lositers. You think that's the nanomachines inside our own bodies? Most likely. So Shikishima's at the heart of this, too. At least we know we weren't wrong. This all began in the future after all. Still, 2188. 2104 is the furthest we can shift into the future. It's a shame, but 
I don't think we can verify this ourselves. Hmm. I think we should drop this lead for now. Better to focus on protecting Godokun's hometown instead. Maybe so. We're almost out of time, so we'll need to move quickly. Best to return to the school in the year 2064. We'll need the cooperation of the other two compatibles. Gotokun, we should focus on putting the Sentinels through the combat sims. I hope you can join me. Sure. My apologies, Miss Morimura. Making arrangements in 1985 proved somewhat difficult. I'm sorry we've had to remain here the past few days. Not much we can do if it's an emergency. I have to ask. Was it absolutely necessary to dress me up like this? Does it bother you? Considering the age you appear, well... It struck me as the most inconspicuous choice. You're not having trouble walking, are you, Miss Morimura? You should probably just call me Chihiro. Otherwise, we'll seem suspicious in public. Okay, Chihiro. Usan. Better drop the San, too. Honestly, I'm surprised you were able to find me at all. A certain data log helped. I found records that your mind had been transferred into the young child standing before me. This body is a juvenile clone of me. I ran an experiment to see if I could restore my compatibility. It turned out to be a failure. That's why I sealed my memories. This compatibility... That'd be the ability to control the gate and the sentinels? You need compatibility to control the mainframe. I was once compatible myself. But after everything got rewound, I lost that power. Maybe it's hard for you to see how crucial that ability is. But you'll understand soon enough. What's going on with my actual body? She's acting like a completely different person. My theory is that someone's taken control of her. You're saying she got mind hacked? She's clearly behaving very differently, at least. It seems like she's working against the Sentinel Project. It's like she's been influenced by 426. Or the man himself may just be wearing her face. That certainly explains why you woke me up. <sighs> Not much to go on, though. Either way, we'll have to do some more investigation. I can see it's been quite a while since my memories were sealed. Five whole years. And now four sectors have gone dark. Talk about a rude awakening. First, you'd better catch me up on major developments in the last five years. Easy enough. Hardly comfortable surroundings for a briefing, though. I'll explain over in 1985. That should do it for preparations. Now, let's see if the biometric authentication works. Did it go through? Looks like that got me past the initial barrier, at least. Now, with Miss Murimura's ID, I should be able to get into her logs. Found it. One of the logs she left behind. March 2nd, 2100. 
Well, I guess there's no point in putting a date to these logs. We've probably got four years left until the invasion begins. I ran an experiment on my clone. I wanted to see if I could make her more compatible. I had more than enough data stored in Sector Zero. She would have had all my memories. However, I could not establish compatibility in the clone. No more than I could in myself. Maybe... There really is no way we can survive this. Not even Ida-kun knows about this experiment. I've kept this attempt a secret from everyone. The memories I implanted in the clone have been sealed. I left her in 1940 under the Miura family's care. She'll be able to grow up as her own person. Someone separate from me. Until they invade, at least. Today's date is March 2nd, 2100. Well, I guess there's no point in putting it. If I, 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 she would help. No, me. not even eat it. I've the elixir. That methodology sounds familiar. Was she basing this project off of those memory overriding crime reports? All in an effort to achieve compatibility. So compatibility isn't just a matter of differences in the nano machines. This refers to the humans who can control the UFO's mainframe. Those compatible have nanomachines implanted in their bodies. They all function as part of a unified global manufacturing network. By its protocols, all 1.2 billion factories worldwide remain in automatic, perpetual production. And their sole output are these mechanized kaiju, which we know as the D-forces. Three months prior to the Newman Inc. incident, Newman was acquired by the conglomerate Shikishima. With these inner lositers, apparently some kind of nanomachine information technology, they've become one of the world's top megacorps. A log concerning the scandal involving Newman Inc. The report is dated 2188. Some of their executives were taken into police custody the crime in question was apparently attempting to use nanotechnology to, in theory, take over physical bodies. There's more. This file looks like the last thing recorded. Peter Kuhn didn't make it back either. The remaining sentinels are infected. No good to us. We're running out of options. We'll have to resort to Operation Aegis. If we go that route, we'll be risking the future of humanity itself. How do I make the call on a decision like that? But... I don't know how else he and I can survive this. This is my only chance. Ever since the battle that ended with the Sentinels infected, Miss Morimura has been pushing this operation as one of its fiercest supporters. The final log that Chihiro Morimura left on the UFO. She speaks at length on Operation Aegis. Her goal is that he and she would ultimately survive, even at the cost of humanity's future. The question is, who is he? That's puzzling. There's a log registered under my name. As far as I know, I've never recorded anything like this. Renya Goto speaking. Oh. Did you confirm receipt of payment? Then I'm sure you can see to the details. Am I clear? I want her dead. Any means necessary. Execute her. And stop the project. That's not my problem. It's in your hands now. Do you realize what'll happen if her project gets approved? It could ruin everything we've worked for. You know what must be done. Kill Chihiro Morimura. 
that really me? That man was a Shikishima executive from the year 2188. Is that supposed to be my future? Seems like a private communications log. The other person on the line wasn't recorded. But it's clear enough what they're talking about. That was an assassination order on Chihiro Morimura. Which... I seem to have called in. Okay, what to do? Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. That damn four eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson, Erica Aiba, at your service. Please, call me Erica. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. I've always wanted to be a detective, too. <sighs> I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school. But we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't faze her. Frickin' weirdo. The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, This place huh? is a dump. Maybe Nachan's in here. Or not.
Have a minute? I got some things to ask you. Natsuno Minami's still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean? Well, I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Even during class, she seemed to always be a bit anxious. The track room, huh? She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name... it was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. Is there anything else you noticed? About Natsunomi Nami? Huh. I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook. And it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Was there something else? Can I help you? No. This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Yuri Fuyusaka. You're the one next to her, in the red glasses. Her, too. Tomi... Kisaragi, I think? Interviewing. Hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Now you. You've been going to Natsuno Minami's house, yeah? Any news since? Oh. So, uh... Yes? She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? Nachan was writing things in this notebook. Things that had nothing to do with her classes. Could it have something to do with her disappearance? Oh, could you be... I mean, the way you're dressed. Are you one of those Sukeban girls? <sighs> oh, are you like hiding a razor in your skirt right now? Uh, of course not. This is the first time I've seen one in real life? Oh, wow! Uh, is your friend okay? Stay here. You're on the track team, right? I'm a second year and captain of the track team. Did you need something? I wanted to ask you about Natsuno Minami. She skipped out on our last few training sessions, but I guess she's out sick. Did she look sick to you? She looked fine to me. Right? <sighs> yep. I thought so too. I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami-san started skipping training. And school too, I guess. What incident? There was a fire in the North Building. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's unrelated. But... A 
fire in the north building yeah i heard an explosion started it really i heard it was arson Anything about that fire in the North Building? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. I can see it clearly now. The primary suspect. I am certain. Their intentions were not pure. with the track and field team? Not particularly. Natsunomi Nami is too, right? Did you notice anything strange about her? Besides her being absent from school. Well, depends what you define as strange, but... Natsuno did stop coming to training. But I'd still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she was there to get something. Something like... Some kind of UFO-looking thing? I don't know exactly. It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. A box in the locker room, huh? Yeah. You know anything about the fire in the North Building? No. You on the track team? Yes. I can see it clearly now. The primary suspect, Abit. Right around the time of that fire, Nachan started skipping her training sessions for track. Could it be related? Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachan went into the locker room to get a box and described it as some kind of UFO gadget. track room but that goody two-shoes over there keeps stopping me uh, you want me to be a decoy what you don't want to do it oh good heavens you and I are partners takamiya san I shall not let you down yeah okay just hold her attention until I get inside the room wait for me out here when you're done your pardon oh yeah I would like to inquire about Minami-san you too oh was there someone else well yeah what did you want to know about not to know oh uh... Nachans, found it. This must be that notebook. 
the one that girl in Nachan's class was talking about. She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. I have finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being! In summary, whoa, aliens really do exist. An extraterrestrial being? Did Nachan make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel, right in Tokisaka Shrine! Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan went there. Either way, it's definitely a clue. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number 17. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. A robot? Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? Hmm. Tiny nameplates. Nachans. Nothing I haven't already looked at. Huh? I thought you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. Ugh. What follows it? These are the an actual Yo, where's Tokisaka Shrine? It's nearby, actually. I should go check it out. Take me there, will ya? I'm gonna go grab my bag. I'll meet you at the front gate. Shino no me. Hey. Yuki Takamiya. Weren't you told not to contact me? <sighs> Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons too? Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachan went into the locker room to get a box. And described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. Wait. There was something you said before. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. You said you hid something for me. Oh, right. You told me to hide it. You don't remember, do you? It was in the passageway to the old school building. You were watching something. It was being shown through a projector. And you started crying. A projector? Yeah. And you were saying something about Four Eyes. Mr. Ida? Oh. So sudden. My pills. Hmm. Shino no me. to make you wait, Takamiya-san.
Shall we get going? Give me a minute. It seems Shinonome has forgotten what happened in the old building's passageway. But I remember. It wasn't too long after I transferred here. I saw her. She was near the old school building. Hmm? I was thinking there were fewer people around here. So, this is the old school building. I heard it's gonna be demolished soon. No doubt it is old. It was built during the war. Seems like a shame, really. This place is so quiet. Would have been a perfect place to hang out. If I had been serious about my studies, I wonder if I could have got into Sakura the normal way. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? My ID is now registered. I'm shutting off your AI function. Search for it. It's somewhere in your memory. Look for the information on me and Mr. Ida. It was all a lie. Is this me from the future? His love was nothing but empty words. Mr. Ida, he was using me right from the very start. I was such a fool. We are all that remains of humanity. And still we deceive each other, so filled with hate. I have had enough. This can't be real. Humanity has always been fated for ruin. Project Ark was a mistake. But it is already in its second stage. I cannot stop it. All I can do is derail it. I have linked in parts of the terraforming project. The heavy machinery will then purge humans from all sectors. If everything goes according to plan, the final phase will be reset. And all sectors will fall into a never-ending loop. What remains will be a peaceful world. Finally free of humanity. No, I couldn't have. This place will be destroyed as well. The human race has reached its end. We have no need for a future. What in the hell? Hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're the girl that was with four eyes. Shinonome, right? It's impossible. Are you okay? Did I do it? Was it really me? I destroyed the world? No, I won't believe it. Mr. Ida would never deceive me. What are you talking about? There's no way. That isn't my future. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. Okay? Come on, stand up. Who are you talking about? Was it four eyes? If that's the future we're heading for, then what good are these? Shit. Madison? Here.
Don't you need these? Why? Why are you trying to help me? Well, I just... You're my senpai at the SIU, so... Oh, yeah. That thing is crazy. Is it a new kind of projector or something? So how do you work this thing? I want to see that video again. Uh -huh. Hey! Are you alright? Get that thing out of here. Please. Don't tell Mr. Ida. Don't tell anyone. Please. I can't believe you collapsed on me like that. Uh, hey, whoa. You sure you're okay to get up? Here. It's your medicine. Morimura made you take those pills, too. It was the first thing she did when I carried you in here. Are you sure it's okay? To take so much of it, I mean. I don't understand. Why did you have my medicine? You threw the bottle on the ground, so I picked it up for you. I threw it? Yeah. Anyway, about that thing. Are you sure it was okay? Huh? What? The thing you told me to hide. <sighs> I said no such thing. Are you trying to play games with me? You were babbling on and on about that damn four eyes. And crying a lot. What? Me? Don't lie to me. What the hell is going on with this girl? It literally just happened. Uh. Shit, seriously? What are those for, anyways? I can't think straight unless I take them. I uh, know, dude. It looks like bad news to me. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Takamiya-san, please, just stay out of this. <sighs> Is something wrong? No. It's just... You don't look too well. Maybe some medicine would make you feel better. <laughs> I'm out of here. Mr. Ida! Shinonome-kun. I have a question regarding what we talked about today. 
Will you answer it for me? <laughs> Mr. Ida? I thought I had made myself clear. You are to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. You said I was special. You are special. The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived, I knew you'd be special. That something might happen between us. Mr. Ida, I want... The investigation unit is watching us. As it stands, we are already an unofficial organization. It is not wise for us to stand out any more than we already do. I have told you this before. I will contact you with further instructions. Is that clear? Wait, Mr. Ida. Well, I just... Mr. Ida, the substitute teacher. He's here to fill in while our teacher is on maternity leave. I've come to find he's quite mysterious, and comes with his own set of secrets. Mr. Ida, I've never... I've never felt this way before. Just thinking about you makes me... I have already explained to you what my position is. While you are important to me, to all of us, you and the rest of those chosen as pilots, your well-being is of the utmost importance to the mission. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? Please don't cause any trouble for me, Shino no Mekun. It is true you are quite exceptional, Shino no Mekun. Your intelligence and adaptability are above average. And your piloting technique is more than sufficient. With you on our side, we stand a real chance. But you must be fully committed to the cause. To achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart and great tenacity. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. A group of invaders had come ashore. Their attack held back by a mysterious robot. Mr. Ida... Is your only desire to put me inside one of those things? If we don't defend against the attacks on this city... It is no exaggeration when I say that the world will be destroyed. We succeeded in defeating them in the first battle. By ensuring that they were unable to reach the heart of the city, we were able to minimize the damage that was done. But the invasion is just beginning. That attack is nothing compared to what's coming. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, Kun. Weren't you the one that said not to contact you? What do you want with Ryoko-senpai? Sekigahara-kun. Stop, Eikun. I'm the one who has to talk to him. Senpai... That is true. Nevertheless, we're drawing attention to ourselves. I'm leaving. Wait! I'll do it. If it's what you want, then I'll fight. Are you certain? Yes. I've made up my mind. Then we will meet after school. I'll give you more details then. Wait. I'm in too. You will fight as well? Yeah. I'll do it. I'll go with Ryoko-senpai. That is excellent news. Then I will see you after school as well. Are you sure about this? I am. 
them. Ryoko. Secured. Area D7. 23 remain in the seventh wave. Number 14 has secured a path. Just a little more. Don't stop. You're almost there. Number 14 has taken damage. Shinonome-kun, pull back. Getting a response from Sakigahara either. Systems being attacked. From where? Through the laser link. The attack is originating from number 15. Sakigahara kun? Sakigahara is transmitting it to every sentinel. Be his hideout. 426 is a dangerous criminal. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. Remember what Mr. Ida said. To achieve victory, one must prepare with great tenacity. Mr. Ida. He stayed on the battlefield to the very end. All so we could escape.
Prisoner number 426. That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time, trying to thwart our work. A gun made in the 2100s. If it comes down to it, I'll use this on him. Ryoko-san. I've got you cornered now, 426. It's time to pay for what you've done. There's nowhere left to run, 426. Who told you I was 426? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eiseki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. Whatever it is you're trying to do now, I don't care. But I can't forgive you for what you did to Mr. Ida. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? We're done talking. I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious! I'll do it! Huh? The trigger's locked. I'm the registered user. It won't shoot me. I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides... What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. They'll wear off soon. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ryoko-san. I tried, but I couldn't save you.